Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson, and I'm here once again in our super best Nothing Else Matters test location in the southwest of England. Now, this week, because of recent events and because I finally managed to get my hands on some new exciting things, I'm going to be doing a side by side review of two plectrums. That's right, it is time for me to have a look at the James Hetfield signature Black Fang and the White Fang. Both these picks are very, very different things, but I've had time to spend with both of them. And so today I'm going to fire them through the stick, board and whim and let you know exactly what they're like. Before we get going today though, I just want to say a big shout out first of all to Stone Age, Matt Halliday at Stone Age, a great lad. He's been doing some great work, some wonderful work, so please do go and check out his shop link in the description down below. I'd also like to take this opportunity, if I may, to address you, the YouTube viewing public, for getting heavy repping to 200 subscribers. I know 200's not a lot in the grand scheme of things, but we're nearly at 1,000 on Instagram, we're cresting 300 on Facebook, a whole lot of people following the blog, and 200 on here. 200's still a lot of people, and so I genuinely, genuinely can't thank you enough. If you've happened across the channel by mistake, Welcome to the Plectroverse. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe or just subscribe and press the notification bell for all of my weekly updates every Tuesday here on the channel. With all that being said though, it's time to get het, so I'm going to crack out the old guitar, do a bit of playing and I'm going to let you hear exactly how these picks sound. So without further ado, let's go. As I said, these are two very different things, so I'm going to start off with my original experience, which was the Black Fang. Uh, this is very, very close to a normal 351. It's made from Altex. This is the 0.94 version, which is kind of handy because the White Fang is a 1mm and it's a fair enough comparison to make. It's a difficult thing to gauge with signature stuff because obviously I am not James Hetfield, though I do look up to his rhythm playing quite a lot. This, for me personally, is a little thin. I think the 1.14 version would be more appropriate, but I'm not here to judge it in terms of my experience, I'm here to judge it objectively. So, uh, I completely understand why it is that he uses these, or at least did use these until the White Fang came along. It's very fast through the strings, it's a normal 351 shape, but it's tapered to a point. Kind of like the Dunlop Wedge, actually, but a little bit taller. The Altex means that you should get a fair old amount of wear out of it, and I think it looks really cool. Unplugged, it sounds a bit kind of fickety fickety, but that's because it's quite thin. And actually, if you're using that sort of um, fast right-hand technique, this is really, really good. The grip's maybe not quite as good as I would like, uh, just because it doesn't have any raised sections. The Kirk Hammett Signature Edition, the sort of green eggs and ham job. That's a little grippier because it's got his raised signature on it and also because it's made from nylon which just grips me a little better. I'd be interested to hear what your experiences are of these picks. However, uh, tonally it's very immediate, not got a lot of power to it but then he's blessed with a rig that's got all the power in the universe so that's not really the issue. Out of the two, not my favourite because Thank you. 
This is two things from Dunlop. So this is a flow shape, which I'm sure you're all familiar with, but it's got the stipples uh, off the Prime Tone series. Now, grip-wise, there is no contest here. This is a far superior plectrum. I would say out of the two, uh, the Altex is, uh, the Altex of the Black Fang is a little bit more and a little bit more wayward as Altex tends to be. However, this is much more focused. It's slightly thinner sounding, uh, and I guess that's because there's just less plectrum there. But uh, I found the grip was infinitely better. Uh, it's much, much easier to use. It's much more controlled. Perhaps it's just because of the context of me using much thicker picks all the time, but I found this a little bit fairy liquid. However, as I say, this is a signature plectrum, and it's worth remembering when you're dealing with signature equipment that it's not been designed for you, it's been designed for someone else. And so as long as you bear that in mind, uh, you always get a lot more out of these picks. I would say if you're somebody who plays in harder, faster styles, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to circumnavigate that this is really good. Uh, if you need them a little stiffer, I think they do thicker versions of this. But judging the two one mils side by side here, I think this is, as a general rule, the better plectrum. But that is, of course, because he's now had time to go and take the black fang out and see how he gets on with it in a live setting. Because the white fang is the evolution of that, making a much more succinct shape. I have to say it is nice to see the Flow series uh, bringing more and more players in. It really has been a very popular shape, and I get that it's kind of an evolution of the, both the Jazz 3 XL and the 351, uh, sort of going in between those two things, making a faster, more efficient pick. Uh, the experience I had of both of them, the White Fang is definitely the better unit. Uh, they're both cost roughly about the same. Um, I'd be interested to see how they behave in the long run, and it'd be cool to see these with angled bevels like they do on the Prime Tone series, but really that's at one mil, it's a little bit thin for that. So if you've tried either of these, or if you're just a big Talica fan, please do let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this little rundown of the two plectrums. Now I know that James is not having a good time at the moment, so from everybody here at Heavy Repping, i.e. me, please get well, man. Uh, do your best, you've inspired literally generations of players, and um, I hope that you're taking care of yourself. In the meantime, my name is John Tron Davidson. This is Heavy Repping, and I'll see you next Tuesday. So just remember, if you're not sure what to do in life, rep hard, ah, rep heavy, ah, and I shall see you soon.